So today we're going to be mounting the solar panels. In a previous video, we showed you how we put rails that run the length of the van. Uh, now today what we're going to do is put the cross rails. That's what these panels will attach to. And we're going to have to assemble it on top of the van because it'll just be easier than trying to carry it all up there at once. So we'll get started on that and then show you how we connect everything. If you missed part one of this video, there's a link in the description. You may want to watch that one first. That's where we ran all the wiring through the ceiling and everything in the van. They are Renogy 100 watt monocrystalline panels, the compact design. We're going to be parallel connecting them together, meaning the positive wires will be connected, then the negatives will be connected, and those two connections will then run through the tail light at the back and into the van to be connected to the charge controller. So we use these MC4 branch connectors that have the four lines, one for each panel, coming into one line. Um, this one is for the negatives. So I have all four panels going into this one, all the negatives. And then for this one, it has all the positives going into it. And then that way we'll have one positive and one negative that are going to run into the van to the charge controller. So we got all the cross rails and panels installed and one of the things that we wanted to do was put a board in here across that we could walk on up here and not worry about denting the roof. That would allow us to clean the panels when they need to be cleaned and maintain them or whatever we need to do. That's gonna get bolted into the rail as well. And here's the wires coming out from the panels. The two lines that are gonna um, go to the charge controller. For the positive, um, Renergy gives this fuse and I think it's a 30 amp fuse in here and we'll connect that into this line here and then the positive will come out of there and the negative out of here and, and run into the van. Well, that's pretty much it. We just got to tighten and bolt everything down and, and I think we're done. Okay. I'm going to tape the end of these with electrical tape so they don't touch nothing.
So we showed you the connections up at the solar panel, and I thought I'd talk a little bit about the connections down here at the charge controller. The two wires that come in from the roof off the solar panel go right in here to the charge controller. The positive and negative that I showed you up there come in to right here. And then they come out here, and the positive comes out and goes into a 60 amp breaker. And then from there, it goes into the batteries, which we, um, we have underneath here. And this board just comes out. We can move it to the side. So this is the positive coming in, and then the negative comes in and goes into the negative terminal on the battery. Our plan is to have four batteries. Um, right now we only got two in. We got them uh, connected in parallel. So we're going to have all the negatives connected together and all the positives connected together for our 12 volt system. So we decided to go with the distribution panel. On one side of it is 12 volt, and the other side is 110. Now for the 12 volt side, we'll connect from the battery. Um, I use six gauge wire that goes through a 60 amp fuse and then up into the uh, distribution panel to make all the 12 volt side hot. As far as 110 goes, we decided to go with the transfer switch. And the reason we're doing that is because we're gonna have uh, both a short power plug and we're going with a 2000 watt inverter. And I'll try to explain a little bit of how this works. The short power comes in from the plug and we have an earlier video where we showed us installing the, the 30 amp plug but that comes in and goes to the bottom terminals of the transfer switch and then the inverter comes in and goes to the middle terminals of the transfer switch and then the top terminals are what goes out to the distribution panel and makes it live. This transfer switch has a 30 second delay so when the inverter is turned on after 30 seconds it'll it'll um, switch over from the shore power and I just turned the inverter on but the way I connected the inverter is from the positive terminal of the battery I go through a 200 amp fuse and this is um, two gauge wire that I'm using and then the negative just goes up into the inverter and then the it's actually hardwired into the transfer switch which is one of the reasons why we chose this inverter gives and there the transfer switch just clicked over to the uh, to the inverter and then when you flip this off that would switch it back to shore power if we were plugged into shore power so the main source of power for this fan is going to be the the batteries the 12 volt batteries and we talked about earlier how we're gonna um, have four of them each battery is 125 amp hours which would give us a total of 500 amp hours and 250 of that would be usable we'll have three ways to charge the batteries the main source of charging will be the solar which we have uh, 400 amps of solar on the roof going through the charge controller so that would be the main way of charging the batteries uh, the distribution panel that we chose also has a converter charger so when we're plugged into shore power, that'll be another source of, of being able to charge the batteries. And the third way of charging the battery is gonna be through a solenoid, which we did a video on how we connected that up. And basically that's gonna charge through the van's alternator. And that wire comes from the solenoid into this 200 amp fuse, and then from there we'll go in to the battery. Uh, so when uh, the van's driving down the road, it'll it'll charge the batteries through the alternator. Another thing we did is we connected this ground, and I think we showed that in a video where it actually goes down to the chassis of the van. So that'll help ground the batteries to the chassis. And that's pretty much the electrical in a nutshell. Hopefully some of that made sense on um, how we did it. And so now what we're gonna do is continue framing out this whole loft area, and we'll show you that in a future video. Please remember, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. 
Thanks for watching.